In other news, Guam Liberation Historical Society's Executive Director Heidi Ballendorf has announced that the annual Liberation Carnival has been canceled this year, emphasizing that, quote, no casino, no carnival. But PNC's Donna de Jesus reports that mayors are saying otherwise. The past few days have been a roller coaster ride of emotion filled disputing over the construction of a casino at the Paseo for this year's Liberation Carnival. Earlier today, Guam Liberation Historical Society's Executive Director Heidi Ballendorf told PNC that Liberation Carnival, along with the casino, will be shut down. On behalf of the Mayor's Council, I am uh, announcing this evening that we are shutting down not only the carnival, but of course the casino. And uh, we will be cleaning up the tail area. That's going to be my uh, task I will be charged with. I will get that done. People need to understand there's no carnival. Ballendorf's announcement came after days of countless calls regarding the controversy surrounding the casino. However, one of the founding members of the Historical Society confirmed that the Mayor's Council of Guam has made no such decision as they have yet to discuss the kinds of events they can have should the gaming component be removed. In fact, he says that several key members are currently off-island and the issue was already scheduled to be discussed at the beginning of next week. He tells PNC, quote, Ultimately, it's the governor's decision since he is the authorizing individual. We will seek his counsel, end quote. Aganya Heights Mayor Paul McDonald also confirmed that there was no discussion about canceling the carnival. In only a few days, Senator Talina Nelson's Bill 50, which seeks to ban casino gambling on Guam, will be taking session floor. A release from the senator states that she met with the Mayor's Council of Guam in April, who requested for the bill to be amended and have the ban take effect next year. The mayors in our meeting asked to... Uh, postpone it, postpone the bill, and I said that's a reasonable, that's a fair, that's a fair uh, request. However, you know this, this needs to be brought up in, in the public hearing. Um, it was not brought up in the public hearing. Um, in the public hearing, um, what was brought up is, if you're going to take this money, then don't let us do the carnival anymore. Uh, was and essentially it was a lot of the mayors defending the the uh, casino, and every other person or every everybody other than that came in to support the bill, to do away with the casino. So that's that's the bottom line of that. Um, to also to be clear that <clears throat> to be clear that if there is any amendment made on the floor to postpone it because of. I feel that everything, you know, because of what is going on, I, I would not support the amendment to postpone the casino. Uh, I want to make that clear now. After Bill 50 sat with Committee on Education, Finance and Taxation Chairman Senator Joseph Augustine, because of concerns regarding the source of funding for the annual festivities, the Senator was ready to submit the reports today to have it ready to take session floor as soon as possible. Who is to say that the, that the bill will pass to begin with? And just because they passed it, doesn't mean the government is going to support it. And the government then will have 10 days after that. And in order to discuss that, there's no need to any session. So if there's no special session, it ain't going to happen. For me, I'd let it go. Senator Nelson sent a written request to Senator St. Augustine to submit a committee report on Bill 50 to the Committee on Rules for eligibility to be placed on the session floor next week. Reporting for PNC, I'm Donna DeJesus.